Good evening everybody and welcome to ATA Racing GP2 division. It is round number 5 of the championship and we're at the Spanish Circuit de Catalunya. Uh, my name is BR Mr. Michaels and I am uh, joined as ever by Craig Senna where hopefully we can, hang we can have no problems this time. So, uh, and straight away Frantic has left. This is brilliant, it's a great start, so let's hope he uh, gets back into the lobby. So as I said, round 5 of the championship, uh, we did have a few issues in Russia which meant that that particular race is now moved to the end of the season, I believe that is what we are doing. But uh, it's a nice track this, um, can, some, can provide some good racing in my opinion ruined by the final chicane at the end of the lap ever since they've added it on but uh still a good track people know this track you know testing has been done etc i got a message hang on good evening everybody i'm back have you put a tick next to your name yep i'm gonna get fran t back in Kicked in straight out, apparently, which is a thing that. Will happens. he be able to get back in so it actually qualify, though? I hope he does. I forgot, are we doing. Is this short or is this. This uh... is short. Alright, okay, just check it. Definitely short qualifying. Uh, join interestingly on the medium tyres. I was just talking about the, uh, the Spanish track. Um, Ennis, what's your yep. opinion on it? I like it. It's been a track we've had for many years. I just... I don't like the little chicane at the end they change. I used to prefer the sweep in two right-hand corners, but other than that, it's a, it's a good track. It's not an easy track to overtake. Really, the best way to uh, take your place is start and finish straight. So I think qualifying is quite important. But yeah, it's a, it's a good classic track. Indeed. So, um... It can be quite interesting if rain comes down. Uh, we've got a completely dry session for quality, <laughs> which is good. Your favourite As... word, rain. Yeah, no, indeed. Hoping. Message again from Frantique. Quick rest. We can't restart. We've waited. F mm. Frantique wants to restart. restart for one person. I thought we'd be allowed for one we have done before. For one person out. That's, the, that's the thing he's going well, at. Well, that's down the skyline though, isn't it? It's not down to us. Don't like it, but... You'll have to mess the skyline. I don't want to, don't want to restart, ideally. We've already had enough of that. No. No, what I mean is it's not down to us though, is it? So... Mm -hmm. There we go with it. I boss man is... Uh, in the McLaren, obviously, as Joan across the line of 22 0 is smashed by Skyline on a 20.8, who's then smashed by Bulltail 19.2. Bossman crosses the line, and we still got that thing where the times do not come up straight away. We just have to go with whatever appears at the top as yeah. Frantic tries well, back I, in. I have heard there is going to be a new patch next week. Uh, another I'm one. hoping this is what the. Yeah, so I'm hoping this going to be one of the issues they fix, so it makes our lives a bit easier. Definitely. Here's uh, Gravedigger, who obviously had that win in Bahrain the last time we actually finished the race, obviously we just discount Russia entirely. So uh, he's on a little bit of form at the moment. Where is Floodlines, our championship leader? I don't believe he's out. Actually, there he is. He's, on no, he's in fourth. He's got a 120 in the uh, medium. Yeah, so an interesting little strategy. I've seen Joran and um, Floodlines on the mediums. Um, tire wear, is it, it's still quite high at this track, isn't it, Craig? Yeah, I don't think it's as bad. Maybe some of them are doing mediums for a bank lap. I'm not sure. I haven't done a proper race around here on this game, so I'm not too sure. But um, there's only three people at the moment that are in the 19s. That's Bittell, Krog, and um, Matty G. But... Um, I knew Tyware was quite high last season, but I'm, I'm not sure about this season. What about you? I seem I seem to think it is, it is at this track. This track has always been a one for Tyware. 
um, even even with these cars and these tyres, which are a lot less aggressive on the tyres. But uh, yeah, I still think a two-stop is one of those around it. I tend to have the strategy of put it in lean in the final sector. It kind of saves on the tyre wear. And then when you go onto the straight, which, as you can see, the Renault driver it's custard is it's coming onto now. You put onto rich, so then you gain back the time. Um, I tend to feel if you put it in lean, obviously it doesn't spin up the tyres as much, and then that helps the tyre wear. That's just yeah. me. I've never used that strategy before. Might have to try it now. Yeah, <laughs> I told you a little bit. It's it's obviously you have to be very much aware that obviously when you put it in lean, you need to put it back to um, what you had before. I mean, in qualifying, you don't need to do it. Just put on max fuel. No. Get everything out of the car, Ness. Yeah, Greg Tiller has just uh, got into third place for one nine two eight. He all want to hopefully a better race um, after. Well, that chaotic race in Russia anyway, so uh, Again, we just put Russia to one side. At the moment, anyway. Again, we put Russia to one side because it doesn't yeah. didn't count basically. I mean it was a sh it was a shame oh. because it was the race was set up quite interestingly, but um No. It's the shame I hope they've turned safety car off as well. So we got a um I don't week. think they have. I don't think they have, but I don't think um, safety car is likely at this track. Yeah, I mean, you say that, and then we're going to have one as uh, <laughs> the Renault driver gets back into the pits for another run. And it's very close to the wall on the left-hand side as he went in. So that's quite interesting. No, I was asking, like, who is leading the championship at the moment? Uh, I'm not it sure is, uh, it's Floodlines by... It's Floodlines by a single point. He's on 56 points. He's a point ahead of Frantique, who is definitely going to be starting at the back, it must be said. Um, so he'll have a little bit of a um, comeback to come through. As nice little camera of HLG flying for that flat out uh, cancer corner there. Uh, third place equal on points is Skyline and Gravedigger after the, his win in Bahrain. So that is the top three currently. Uh, teams, if you're interested, Force India currently top of the table on 62 points, McLaren 57 and Haas on 43, but it's still very early days, still quite close. And potentially, obviously again, potentially, there's still another 19 races to go, would you believe it, if we had the short tracks on? Yeah. <laughs> We've got a long way to go, and we're going to enjoy the ride. <laughs> Definitely do. Let's get on board with HLG in the Williams as he goes through turn one, clips very nice in the on the first part of the corner, but oh, you've got to... Turn one and two is crucial for turn three because you've got to get those right so you can have the right car, so you can take turn three relatively far. You probably still have to ease off, depends on what your error is. It was, it was a little bit out of shape to, through turn one and two. I've done that quite nicely. Now through the middle sector. This is a tricky corner coming up to now on the chicane. Got to be very careful you don't track the as well. Now this corner here, cancer corner, we were on about it on the last lap. Had to ease up a little bit. You've got to make sure you don't go too wide as he opens up the DRS. Now here's the final sector that we do keep on talking about. As he goes down into second gear, does that quite nicely. That's pretty good. Got to mind the traction through here. And he actually, yeah, the, the, the bump in the middle of that fast left and right can throw you off. And it did a little bit as he now goes to this very, both me and Craig don't like it. And you can see why it's just so Mickey Mouse. I mean, it used to be completely flat, this final two corners in the olden days, but uh, he crosses the line now, does set a lap with a go. So, um, in the top ten. So, decent lap from HLG, but what, time... That, that bump on the, on the left, on the quick left to the right, I think that bump is even, like, can swerve you off more on this day than last year. It bump seems to be more effective. It, it, it always, on every game, even since 2013, there has always been a bump that just throws you off. Um, I mean, obviously, it depends whether you have, you know, traction control on or off, obviously. Uh, so, John completes his lap. He's now onto the soft tyres, so he's completely put that strategy to one side. Actually, now coming down to the final it's still, it's still little bit. So, it's flat as well. They're all on softs now. Yeah, some people abandoning 
the strategy, probably the bank collapse, but if the bank collapse word is Master Oh Krog. my god! 18 8! The floodlines of Patel! Wow! I was about to say, Patel and floodlines are separated by less than a tenth, but that I'm really impressed with. Wow! 18 8 from Master Krog! That is a. Wow, that is a very good lab. That's. that's Get that's in there, set Ripple, down. come on! Yes, Ripple! <laughs> <laughs> of course, he's one of your drivers. Both Salbers aren't here yet again, but um, but yeah, Master Croc, great lap there. Can any of them challenge? As uh, right, let's see what we have a look at. Bulltail, see what Bulltail can do. So the Mercedes got right in front of him, which might put him off a little bit. I don't know if he's on that. No, he's not on a lap yet, so he's building one up. Let's have, have a look at the race well, director. We're gonna see what we have, have to get their laps in now and there's only one minute left to qualify yeah master croc is fastest on an 18.8 as ball turn on a 19.2 blood lines very close as you said and then it's a 20.2 i believe for hlg although there might be someone in between we'll have a look as we come to the end let's see what ball tail does john's qualifying is over where's ball tail i believe he got for, yeah, he's get, just getting some space now. He's in eighth gear, which is a little bit interesting. <laughs> he gears himself up. He's definitely got himself mentally prepared for this lap. And now crosses the line. So this is going to be one his one and only opportunity to take pole away from Master Quark. Can he get anywhere near that lap? It's 18 is fantastic. Goes into the third one. Nice. Now you can see the difference between him and, H and uh, HRG. Sets him up perfectly for turn three, but he still has to ease off. He's going to be very careful as qualifying is now over. There is Skyline. His qualifying is over. It is, it is an improvement. It's a tenth lap on his time so far. He passed part time retires from the session. I think he just did that manually. So that's does boss man. This is a very decent lap so far. As I said, he did the first couple of corners way better than HLG, and HLG needed some time. There's a Ferrari in front of Bultel. I hope that's not a throw on trap, but look how confident he went through his grave digger and cheeky little slip stream from Bulltail, that could have been quite dangerous. Gets into that. This is very it's a very good lap so far, but this is the make or break of the lap because it's traction it's problems. Be frog at the moment. It looks like it'll be a 19 0 at the moment. Yeah, but you know it depends what he does in this final sector. Yeah, the curb on the inside threw him a little bit. But he's still powering through. Can he get into the 18s and challenge on the pole position? No, I don't think he can. No, I think I think he was three tenths behind. No, he, did, he just slightly improved. A 19-2 dead. He must have made a mistake in the last sector. Yeah, he's lost time in the last sector. Right, so I believe that is the end of quality. Yes. And was this the second pole now? Or um. No, that's his Sorry, first pole in Australia, did he? No, uh, pole position was flood. Pole position was flood lines. Oh, he he did get it, did it? We we had to restart, but he still got the yeah. point for pole. Did, he, he still got the point, Australia. yeah. Yeah. Why well, didn't <coughs> he start in the front row? Obviously, he wasn't here in China, and then Bahrain got second place behind Grave Digger after a well fought battle. But yeah, I believe that his <laughs> well. Hopefully, we don't restart. I've already said this. Yeah, Krog is not, not, Krog is not out of his title race. You know, if he gets a good consistent of runs, and there's no instance, well, he, he could is, be right up there challenging as well. Well, he is in the very early stage of the championship in fifth place. He's 10 points behind uh, Skyline and Gravedigger. So, and as I said, he is only 24 points behind Frantic. I mean, obviously, Krog has had a slow start when obviously he wasn't here in China, so he missed out on points there. As you said, he is. To the round as Grog does retire. We are waiting now on the ones to retire, and it is just Floodlines, and there he goes. And that indeed, Master Grog takes pole position by a tenth. Floodlines just got into the 18s actually, so he knocks oh, Bulltail wow. off the front row. An 18999, that's brilliant. Uh, Great Digger is fourth. Uh, Manny GB out qualifies do, HLG by three really tenths. impressed so. with that. Yeah, so uh, Joran in 7th, just ahead of Skyline in 8th, and Bossman, part-time, 
he's still trying to get back into the groove after his uh, absence. His custard in 11th didn't really get a lap involved and obviously Frantique is a point behind Fud Lions in the championship. He requires a comeback drive. He needs a, he needs a Vettel drive. And well, then it'll be don't... interesting to see him come from the back. Yeah, I say he needs a Vettel drive, but then don't hit a Williams on the on the um, coasting lap, which would be very helpful. And we do have a dry race, so that's uh, great to hey, see. Let's hope, let's hope nobody, nobody readies up. Let's hope we can have a very race. A race. I think it's going to be hard to overtake. It all could come down to strategy this race. Indeed, with it being dry, obviously it's going to be down to tyre strategy. Uh, Frantique, I think Frantique could try starting on the mediums and go from there. He's got to stay out of trouble in the first few corners on the first lap. Um, that's obviously going to be a thing. Um, that's why I always say with tyre strategy, if you're outside the top 10 or actually low end of the top 10 and say like you start on a harder compound of tyre, it's a good strategy but you need to stay out of trouble because if you oh, get exactly. in trouble, get in trouble, break your front wing you can't really recover. I mean, if you if you break your front wing while you're on the softest compound, you can then just change to the hardest compound and go from there. You know, just do a very long stint on, say, the medium tyres, and then, you know, that could sort of bring you back. But with this, if you have any, have any problems and you started on the medium tyres, then that obviously takes that particular set out of the equation, and then you won't have any left for the rest of the race. You have to go on softs, or it just messes up your strategy. That's the that's the risk and the gamble that it could take. Pull it off, and it could be quite well. Well, let's just hope we get a nice clean start around the first two quarters of this lap, and let's have a good, clean, fair race. Hmm. I've definitely been looking forward to this today. Had a change of uh, plans because I woke up this morning thinking I wasn't going to work, and then. A couple of hours after I woke up, hey, you need it, come on in. So I did. Oh dear. <laughs> and I'm working again tomorrow, so quite unexpected end to my week. But I'm, I'm not complaining. But uh, let's have a good race. And I got Do football you have training. Weekend off? I got football training on Saturday, and um, and then obviously we've got an AOR race on Sunday. So yeah, so and I'm we've sure got our, and we've got our race tomorrow as well. Yep. Where I'm now championship leader, I might add, after my win in Russia. I think you will be. I am, I believe, because... Um, We've well, was... already done two races, officially. <laughs> yeah, because uh, Marco and Brutal, who I was behind in the championship, didn't even turn up, so... I got the points. So, who are you going to put your money on to win this race, then, while we're waiting? I have to say, nobody's readied up, which is brilliant. It's a rarity. <laughs> um... You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my neck out there. I'm gonna say Matty GB. I'm actually quite impressed. Really? His second, his second race in ATA. He's in fifth place. Is that qualified? A much experienced teammate, much more experienced teammate of HRG. Um, yeah, yeah. I've. Why not? Why not? Stays out of trouble. <laughs> Stays out of trouble. Guess who I'm going second for. Race. I mean, the ball just sounds too obvious. I don't normally well, go for who, the obvious one. Guess who you think I'm going to win? Guess who you think I'm going to well, pick probably Master win. Krog because he's your driver. Of course. Indeed, it is kind of concern. It is kind of concerning me how. How no, are they? I hope they don't have a problem. Or are they just behaving? Maybe just waiting, waiting until... for somebody. Yeah, maybe somebody's had to do something quickly. Why can't, it's, why it's can't nice this change. happen all the time? Yeah, it's a nice change that nobody's ready up and uh, make sure everybody's ready. We don't <laughs> want to start the race, do we? And somebody's not ready. Look what happened when Patrick wasn't ready. We had to restart the Australia, uh, so we don't want to go through that again, do we? Indeed, as I said, dry I'm a start, bit which is... is taking a little while, though. Just a little bit. I'm sure. I'm sure, everything's fine. There we go. Oh, it's here we fine. go. Yeah, the race host uh, or the owner has actually started it. That was actually quite brilliant. Yeah, it looks like it's dry, but I'm hoping that we do get a uh, changeable weather race at some point when we don't. I know thought what the you didn't like be. rain. 
Yeah, but I don't mind watching it. Just <laughs> seeing it go from wet to dry or dry to wet it makes it more interesting for us to commentate on. It does indeed, but let's get prepared for the start of round number five of this championship. Let's hope for a good one. And we're going to get ready for five lights at the Spanish Grand Prix. Lights out and away they go. Maybe they start actually. As they go down into turn one, a beautiful camera angle going down into turn one as the McLaren of uh, Fud Lines is in there and uh, Bulltail's up on the inside the of Fud Lines. And he's through. We're we all going to get through turn one very nicely. Yes, we are. There's a Ferrari sideways, though. Ferrari sideways. And uh, Gravedigger's off Old as is, well. Oh, there's a Force India wide as well. Force Sydney's off. What has happened back there? It's Fran Teague has got involved. Part time is off. I think Fran Teague got involved in a little bit of skirmishes at the back. Part time is round. Norris off. There's John's a got no off. front wing. Wow, that's... I don't know what happened. I just saw a Force India sideways, so I didn't see the Taurus or the Ferrari go off. Oh, and there's a... There's a Ferrari's off. Ferrari's off. Great digger. Oh, Great, great digger's spun... off. Great digger spun it. I don't know how on earth he's done that, but both Ferraris in the wars today. Oh, he... how close he was to Frantique. That could have been so, so bad, but... Well, they were initially quite clean and quite okay. No incidents through the first couple of corners, but apart from that, it's all gone. A few people in the wars, but Master Grog has kept the lead. We're going to lap two. The both Ferraris, both Ferraris in incidents. Franti got involved. Joel just had no front wing, but. Uh, not free have already made a back, uh, gap already from the rest of the field. Indeed, and Mad Matty, my well, pick for the win, actually did not have the greatest of starts. He's back in sixth place. He got passed by Skyline and HLG. we we'll both seem to be locked in a battle for fourth place. Come on, Crom. You can do it. So Gravedigger looked, looked like he spun on the first right hander out, out of it, he just he just seemed like he got oh, like a... Oh, his off! Kylo's off on the grass! He went a bit sideways there, and he's dropping down the field now, down to seven. Wow. Oh, it's Kylo! Oh, no, he's lost it! Oh, oh, my God! He's in the wall! Surely he's got wind damage. And that's the problem when you go off onto the grass, you cannot floor the throttle as soon as you come back on, because you just got dirt on yes. your tyres, and... Learning from that, and uh, Master Krog, meantime, at the front, is he kept under huge pressure from Bulltail. Bulltail, obviously, I think he's going to get the fastest lap. He does. Actually, no, Floodlines Flood does. It. Oh, wow. Oh, his cluster was so lucky just to avoid Skyline's tasks as well. That could have ended in a massive crash. Indeed, so these front three pulling away from HLG, who's now in a solid fourth place, not under any pressure. He's got his teammate now behind him in fifth. And let's see where everyone else is now. Is Bossman sixth place? And uh, Custard is on the medium tyres. I believe he's the highest of the medium tyres. So he's there. He's got Frantique though behind him. We know Frantique is quick. So he'll be behind. Is he's Frantique got Grave Digger. Damage or Grave Digger? Um, I think, I don't think Grey Digger or Frantic had any damage as uh, Skyline does pit onto the hard tyres. So, uh, yeah, I think you're right, he did have damage. And John oh, has left, left the session. Well, I knew Skyline did have damage because he went straight into the barrier. There was no way he was going to get away with that. Yeah, sometimes you do get damage and sometimes you don't. But obviously, he definitely had a bit and was not very happy with the setup of his car, so he's onto the hard tyres to see what he can do from there. 11 drivers left, so... Well, any more he can but, score points. But Patel and Fatalize now are going to start battling, this is helping Master Croft get away, and he's just at the fastest lap as well. Yeah, Floodlines does have DRS on the back of Bull Tail, let's see what he can do on the inside, not close enough. Yeah, but as you said, yeah, all these look, two... Just to say he's there, but... Yeah. Yeah, but... Oh! That lag, oh, it must be a bit of lag, I thought he went off. As you said, the more these two battle though, Master Quotes is getting in the way in the distance, just controlling this race. 
Tim Williams are getting quite close to one another. Matt EGB, even though he's passed by his teammate, is behind here. Any team orders might be at this team. <laughs> <laughs> it's your favourite team, so, you know, would you want to say team orders or let the fast guy go past? To them, though, isn't it? It's up to uh, for HLG is the owner, but I would say Matty GB is actually the fastest of the two at this, this present time. Yeah, indeed, Matty well, GB is actually caught. Actually with some people already. A few people have had issues. There is Matty GB. Yeah, he's actually he's right up at the back of HLG and might be in a chance of an overtake at the end of the chicane. See what he can do. Yeah, HLG is not comfortable at all. I would just let him through. Oh, oh. oh. that that could have ended messy. Yeah, I'd let him through. If it was me, I'd let him through. He's he is. Teammate and I would hold he's him doing up. that. Going with a message and floodlights is now putting Bulltail still under pressure, but cannot find a way through. The problem with this track is overtaking is very very difficult. I think he's definitely getting impatient. You can see Master Krog, who's, who's again. It's one lap it seems that Grog is gapping these two and then the next lap he's going to get it back so a little bit of a stalemate going on at the moment. And there's no guarantee we're going to get past Sumi as well down the back straight because Sumi could have um, buy a, a lower air on you as well so there's no guarantee we're going to get past the down the uh, DRS straight. These three do, do seem very close to one another, especially in lap time. Let's see what Matty GB can do. Now past his teammate, can he start making inroads on these battling top three? HLG now in fifth. Being passed by his teammate, he's How far is it now. Going? Uh, Matty GB is now he's six seconds behind. If he catches up on his lap, as a floodlight is going to have DRS and back of Bulltail, but Bulltail has DRS on Master Crow. Bulltail feels the need though. Defend up on the inside and oh, no, yeah, still look again. again. Yeah, not close enough. Matty GB actually caught the front three by four temps that lap. So oh, wow, this will get he really is catching. He starts catching up. It's, be it's because these two are battling. Let's see what he gets. See what he yeah. does in this sector. It's now uh, no, he lost a tenth. Again, more of these two battle. It just Constantina's back up again, so... Yeah, I think he'll gain more on the second, third set, because, like, the first set's only, what, one, two, three quarters, really? These are the part of the trap that he'll start catching up when they're battling. You can just see him in the background. Yeah. Back in the other couch on the back of Joran, who's unfortunately retired from the race. He did that manually. So he won't not be I think he actually points. left. I don't think he retired. I think he just said he left the session. Yeah, yeah, he left the session. He, he was one of the people that got caught up in the incident at the start. Obviously, we're having some insight on that. Master Krog a little bit skittish through the chicane. As he, uh, no, say, he must have made an error or something because Patel is much closer to him. Yeah, Floodlines are still there. This is, a, this is definitely a three-way battle for the win of this race. Nice little camera. Hmm. I wonder who's going to think about doing the undercut. Well, who's who's going to blink first, basically? Yeah. Like, do you think you know? As far as floodlines, I would think about doing an undercut. As he's you know behind both of them, but it'd be quite interesting. Uh, Matty G, Matty GB is not really catching the front three anymore. He's just stabilising at like 5.8 seconds, but he can still sort of play his way into this. A little further well, down, Fran Frantic He's still doing is... really well in fourth anyway. Yeah. Frantic is there. Skyline's made it past part time. Part time's made a mistake, and uh, Dustin, I believe, has also made made a few errors, and he's back. <laughs> He's about there. We've got 11 drivers left. So all apart from one will be scoring points if they finish, obviously. As flood. Oh, floodlines and Bulltail Pier. 
at the oh, same wow. time, a bolt tail was actually sideways going into the pit lane. They both slow down for the pit lane line. So what is Master Cog going to do? And who's going to get out in front between these two? Well, Cog's got to come in the next lap. Maddie GB also pits. Floodlines onto another set of um, soft tyres. Bull tail, what did Bull tail go on to? He went on to hard tyres, so interesting. And uh, Matty GB on to Ooh. softs. This, They're so just Matty, coming out behind a Ferrari as well. That is, in fact, Gravedigger. That might hamper both of them a little off. bit. Yeah. Wait, Floodlines has got ahead of Patel in the pit, like, I just noticed that. He was, he was already... Actually, yeah, yeah, good point. Good point, he has. By quite some way. But now he's got yeah. the Ferrari, who seems to be struggling on the soft tyres, in front of him. And this is going to make him lose a lot of time to... Shit. So I know, I just built my doctor, a bit of Dr Pepper on the floor near my phone. Uh, plus front lines definitely he's got to try and find a way past Grey Digger got a massive drive out of that corner is it going to try and run the outside of Grey Digger but good Grey Digger understands the situation lets him through so interesting little strategy from Bulltail he's playing the long game straight out to the hard tyres Floodlines is doing exactly what he needs to do which is try and pull away as Master Krog Waits one lap and then pits. HLG also pits. Um, you think, can you get hearts to the end? I oh, very be very very close, but can Floodlines do the undercut on Krog? And he has no, it he's done this. it. Krog's done it. Yeah, Krog did a very good in lap on his set of tyres. So, as I said, both gone to the soft tyres. So, Bulltail, remember in China in that race where we didn't have many drivers but Bortel surprised me by going much longer on the set of tyres he knows how to do it. Matty GB on the other hand is very impatient and wants to get by Bortel if he wants to finish ahead of Bortel he has to get by he's on a two compound better difference this is going to be a battle here coming up behind John's ghost car oh he's got on the softs again he's got a really yeah. aggressive strategy then. yeah same as Floodlines and Krog that's why I'd be interested to see what Bolt comes up. Look, it's just so much faster with the corners. But he has to he has to get a good run out of him. Bortel's gone oh. wide. So that was interesting. Surely he's gonna get him on DRS as well. Oh. Yeah, Bortel surely he's gonna oh. yield, but no, no, he keeps on the inside. This is right to the outside. That was very aggressive. Hmm. Yep, the inside line though. So Yeah, he did. Puts him right up to the end, like uh Kevin Magnuson did against Alonso, but Matty GB might be a little bit annoyed at that, about that, but he surely he could, he could get a good run out here as Floodlines that's the fastest lap. Didn't get a good run, he went on wide onto the rumble stone, but Bulltail has a very low air row and is pulling away. That's not Mercedes against Williams, that's just that's just low air row by Bulltail. It's gonna be an interesting battle. Matty GB is just like gonna... Like he's gonna have to get past him as quickly as possible as he's on the hardest compound. Um, oh, he's gone wide. He's through. Surely he's through. Yep. Oh, I missed Patel that. Patel felt the pressure there. Yeah, Patel went wide on turn three, off, off to the tarmac, and uh, Matty G's through. I don't know if he felt the pressure or not, but that's Matty G up to fourth now. Indeed, good, good stuff from Matty. And now he has to pull away from Bortel. He wants to get a podium video. Really. Smart Cross retired. retired. What's happened what? there? No. See. What happened there? Oh my god, there's a wheel! He's lost it! Yeah, that's gonna be him! Oh, he's... No. oh my word. He's lost it and Did hit he... the wall. There was a wheel. There's a wheel across oh, the must track. He must have lost it on the sweep, the fast right hand corner. He must have went too wide and lost it. Yeah, he must have hit the curb or the gravel right on the left. It can't catch you well. And he's going flying into the wall. And he's out the race. I can't believe Maybe. it. That's this handy floodlines the lead now. Whenever Frantique no, comes in. No, Frantique's in the lead. Because of course he started on the medium medium tyres and he now finds himself in the lead. Yeah, but when he oh. comes in, Floodlines is gonna lead the race though, technically he's, he is the race leader. Need third of the way through this race, lap eleven of thirty-three. 
And uh, this race really is turned on its head due to that unfortunate crash from Croc. He's going to be devastated for that. I'm devastated for him because he looked pretty yeah, good. Yeah, I'm got it as well. Really good. He's your driver, so it will be quite interesting. So now, <laughs> next interesting thing is obviously Voltel came under pressure from the Williams driver of Manny on the soft tyres. He's now going to face another one. HLG is on the same strategy as his teammate. Be quite interesting by the end. Let's hope they don't uh, double step. But Bortel is not liking these tyres whatsoever. They're not giving him the grip he needs, and he's struggling for time. And now he's been caught really, really quickly. I'm surprised he's, I'm surprised he's got the hard to be honest. I thought you'd be able to do at least the soft, medium, soft run here. Yeah, maybe go into the mediums. Hard tyres, uh, they do last a heck of a long time, and then they could go to the end. I don't know because. I haven't done my research yeah, yet on tyre strategy. So the problem is, he might lose that much time. By the time they all come back, uh, come out their pits, they could be ahead or just behind him. It would be easy to get past. Like how Chorchi is getting past now. Yeah, should be able to get the brakes stopped in time. He does. Bortel's got to yield. Ooh. There you go. He, has to, he had to yield, really. HLG's much better strategy. You can just see the grip difference. Uh, oh, even Bortel's oh, got, got wide. Again? The gravel. He, that's where he lost his place to Matty before. At the moment, this is going to be a great race for uh, Williams, for the constructors. Indeed. The hard tyres, really, for me, in my opinion, are just for, you know, if you want to recover from something, if you've had a really bad first lap, it's not really the tyre I would use. But uh, it's what he wants hard, to do. It's not the mandatory tyre, is it? No, I believe it's soft and medium, so... And obviously you no, start quite soft. Surprised. I suppose the strategy, it may, it may may fool everyone, but he's definitely losing a lot of time using that strategy. Definitely. Right, so let's see where we are. Manny GB now into third place. Def definitely potential of a podium. He's first in ATA. And only a second race. There's potential for that. But obviously, we still got some time to go. HLG in fourth, as you said, looking very good for Williams and the constructors. And they're only on 20 yeah. points going into this race. So this would be a good oh, result definitely. for them. There was a Ferrari coming out of the pits. That's part. That's part time. He's well, well back. He's a lap down. Not having good stuff. Good time at all. But at least he's in tenth place. If he finishes oh, the race, he'll be in the points. All, all points out up at the end of the day, at the end of the championship. Yeah, Custard is ahead of him in ninth place at the moment. Both of these drivers, I don't think... Um, I don't think they've had that much practice. Not not for by their own doing, probably because they were busy. But it definitely shows at the moment in the wars. I know Custard is just getting back into F1 and, and all that, so this is just good practice for him. <laughs> mm -hmm. And a fast part time, obviously, you know him by the commentary duo yep. with HLG. Um, he's been an absent for a few races, now back, but uh, he's also in the group. Flood Lions is now in the DRS of Frantique, although it says he's over a second behind, which makes sense. Never mind. Lap 14 of this race. How, how long can Frantique take those medium tyres? I mean, if he can take them as long as Floodlines can on the softs, he's pretty much in this race, despite being involved yeah. in Turn 1 and obviously not qualifying. Do you think he's going to try one stop? Do you think he'll go on the half turn afterwards? Or? Again, no. It's it's that thing where the hard tyres clearly, what Bulltail has shown, is not really the tyre to go for. Floodlines, and I think, is a little bit struggling with these mediums as foot Floodlines. I mean, Frantique is struggling with the mediums. And Floodlines is just catching it corner by corner. This is what I mean, I've done no proper practice for all good Spain before, so I have no idea how long these stars last for. That was close from Frantique almost. I think, I think as you said, Master Krog, you must have lost it on that uh, sort of gravel on that curve that can easily just spit you off. Probably was running no traction actually. Right, a few of these drivers. Um, even though you can use any assist you want. Quite a few of these drivers have either medium or ABS off like what Floodlines does. And now he's under pressure and Frantique does go oh, into the pits. Well, this is a so. track. 
hard for people that use their traction as well, because it's... Just checking something actually with Frantique. I feel that was... Yes, he's speeding in the pit lane, Frantique. That's absolutely messed him oh, up. Oh no! I had a feeling. Effort. I had a feeling he did not slow down in time. And he's... Uh, and Masquerock has left the session. That would have got him out in fifth place as well. That is such a shame. Yeah, on a soft tie. Effort. So definitely, I definitely do think you'll pit again. So what did he get? Did he get a stop go? Is that five seconds? I believe it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, he's got a stop go. So it's not as bad as a dry throw, I don't think. So. Interestingly, in terms of corner cuts, he's also got a three second uh, penalty, as oh, does dear. Grave Digger. That's does Grave Digger so far. That yet. <laughs> Great Digger and Frantic both got three seconds. Got so technically, Frantic has eight. If he doesn't, no, actually no, he does at the three. So because, yeah, actually Frantic is fine because. I think I think Patel's got it as well because he's got three wardens on his thing. So surely he's got it as well. I don't think he did. He didn't come up with anything. It's just uh, Frantic and uh, Great Digger, but. I think Frantique is fine because if you speed in the pit lane then pit then it does add on to your pit stop. I had it in Russia so he'll be stationary in the pit lane for five seconds to the uh, I think I think he already has done tires. that. I think he's already done okay. that, that's the thing. So he could be alright but we shall see. I still think Frantique, uh, Floodlines has got this in the bag now. My well, Master Crod did technically, and then this all can be lost. You got to push all the way to the flag, really. Just you can't really say to yourself, "Well, I've got this," because then your concentra concentration levels go down. Speaking of concentration, next week's race, Monaco, I believe it is. Oh, 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 oh that's going to be interesting, and at night, at night as well. Yes, even more better. So, um, part -time, fast part time has retired from the race. Oh, is that manually? Is he actually crashed? Let's have a look. Uh, no, it's terminal damage. Terminal damage, oh, he's wow. gone as well. See, to be honest, I didn't think this would be a track where you'd really destroy your car. To be honest. Stop. That could be the same place. Let's, let's, actually, let's actually get him him into the party if he wants. So, uh, if he wants to explain how that has happened, I've done this before. Yep. Yeah. You haven't done this for a while. Why well, I've invited people in the front says the fastest lap. Uh, part time. Um, what happened to you? Um, you better tick into the box, obviously, before you uh, explain. Uh, well. Let's just say this, I chuckled the fucking car. <laughs> we are on stream, please do not swear. Why well, I don't care. Um Yeah, so so what corner did what corner did you crash it at? Because obviously Master Claude the leader um did it at the fast right hander, so where did you where did you lose it? Uh I lost it hold on. In between Suspense is five. killing me. Huh? In between four and five. Four and five? Yeah. the hairpin is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the left hair left handed hairpin, yeah. After the long oh. sweeping right and right. Yeah, I got a bit on the grass, then I tried to oh. get red. Yeah. I, I stopped, spun around, then I don't know what happened after that, I drove into the wall. As far as I'm aware, that's what happened. I drove into the wall. That's really unlucky. It really was. I want to know what time. happened at the start between me and, me and John because I didn't get a clue. Yeah, yeah, I was going to ask about that because I saw a Force India sideways and all of a sudden we saw you and John in the gravel trap. Yeah, I don't Anything know. I... I got on. I was on the outside the pin for turn two, but then I was on the inside the turn three. But I touched the. I think I touched the Astro Tough, which put me a little bit sideways. And obviously, because I was still gassed, I just kind of. I think. Glanced off his nose, came round, caught the car, spun round, and I think I collected Frantique, but I'm not sure. Yeah, 
Yeah. Anything Somebody's, I can... Somebody's pitted, Frantic's up to third now. Yeah, Manny GP has pitted for, uh, I believe, hard tyres. That should get them to the end. Uh. Um, anything I could see from it part-time was, I believe it was a Ferrari went sort of sideways through the turn two. It's for the right hand, and that's obviously where it all kicked off. Yeah, that, that Ferrari would probably be myself. I don't actually know what happened, but... I don't know if he touched me and pushed me away, or... I just got in the gas too early and spat it into him or whatever. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. If he's watching this, I'm sorry. That was not many happen. Yeah, I did believe he messaged me at some point. Uh, both Williams are now pitted. HRD is now into the pit. I believe he should go onto the hard tyres. Just matching his teammate, really. Which now puts Frantique into second. 17 he seconds flying, behind the leader. Flying. Well it's said, that's what I think the McLaren and the boss man's actually closing up to the bottoms. Looked a bit closer than I've seen. Mm. Uh, part time actually, we were we were curious about um, the tyre wear on this track. Is it um, is it quite bad at this one? Or what kind of strategy were you were you sort of going for? Going From for what everyone yours? said in the lobby, the original strategy where everyone got as default was soft, soft, medium. No, soft, soft, hard. Soft, soft, hard. But, uh, so, um, yeah. So hard tyres. You only can. Only two people started. Only two people started on mediums, and that. I think that was. G no, it was <laughs> Bullet and, and Frantic. Yeah. We were only two to start on uh, mediums. Everyone else was on uh, softs. But I did get a good start. I'm not gonna lie. I got a good start to get up into. Uh, I think it was 5th or 6th I managed to go up into before it all kicked off. Hmm. Leader Brave in the pits and, uh, now. HLG are having a good battle at the moment on the hard tyres. Leader in the pits now, hard tyres towards the end. Looks very, very comfortable indeed, but Frantique has now come passed on, him into off. the lead. <laughs> Catching up to back the HLG. Yeah, both on the hard tyres now, so definitely a similar strategy going on. See if you can get a good run out of the front chicane. Didn't really. I wonder if the tail's going to go on with soft and idiot and they'll be able to catch up with all the guys on the hard tyres. Possibly. But everyone is now kind of stretched out a little bit. Oh yeah, has your wheel arrived yet? Uh, no, hopefully it arrives tomorrow. But I won't yes. get to use it until after the stream tomorrow for F1. <laughs> and the first track you get to use it at is Monaco. <laughs> ha! I'm not driving a wheel at Monaco. <laughs> oh. No, you should do though, because the wheel suits uh, Monaco better than the pad. I would agree on that as well, so... Up to you, but I wouldn't well, would blame you. I wouldn't blame you I if you didn't. HLG nearly lost it down with quick right hander. Yeah, we're, well, where HLG went a bit wide there, that's where I went wide. Oh, actually. he's gone off again and crazy to throw. Go, Grave Digger. Go, Grave Digger. Pressured them. Caused a mistake. But I will yeah, say that, I... uh, I will say but that left right is uh, not the best because it does actually oversteer it makes the car so slidy. It's which is disgusting. Right? What after the hairpin? Yeah, after the tight hairpin it's yeah, very I, dirty I, I, I don't like I don't like that bit either, it makes my car slide sometimes. It's... Hey it's Judge okay. got back through though to the DRS. Yeah, that mistake kind of Kind of felt him, didn't it? Because then he got the DRS onto the front straight, so. Yeah. Thought it worked out. Yeah, the, the, the turn one and two, and the one after the hairpin, I kind of. If I don't get it right, my car wants to slide, so. I might have to change that a bit for my strategy tomorrow. I really don't know what strategy oh. to go for. I haven't done any practice at all. Probably, no, won't, right. probably won't be doing any practice until tomorrow afternoon after work. But uh, I'll be all set. Then my championship lead. <laughs> As uh, Frantique now crosses the line to stop lap 22, we are two thirds of the race 
two thirds of the way through this race now. It just better be dry like this race tonight. I hope to God it is absolutely peeing it down. <laughs> no, <laughs> please no. I've had enough of race, thank you. See, the commentators want it to rain, but the racers want it to be dry. It's uh, it's going to be a divide, I isn't it? I want it to be absolutely drenched in wetness. I want this track to be moister than a moister. What have I done to you part time for you to say that? I, I don't like the rain. <laughs> you know, I, I want to hide. I want to take. I don't want to get the old umbrella out or anything. Please, don't mind intermediate weather, but not full wets. As well, I realised in my Sunday race. <laughs> tough luck. Oh my God! Yes, Slovakia have had a guy sent off. Fuck you, Slovakia. <laughs> What's the score? <laughs> Nothing each. Yeah. Well, I bet you're cheering off. Are you cheering on for England tonight? Because they would help you out I tonight. I am cheering they on for India. England, and I don't normally say that because we need them to lose. Oh, you need yeah, Slovakia if you want to you actually need England to do you a favour. We need Slovenia yeah. and Slovakia to lose because we pl we face Slovenia on Sunday night. You're what? Uh -huh. I think you're only a point behind Slovenia as well. But you're We're a point behind Slovenia. Slovenia and two behind. Oh well, Northern Ireland is the Germany team. Let's no? have a look at the scores. No, now. actually, we're, me, and, us, and Slovenia are on equal points, and we're a point behind Slovakia. The Slovenia. Uh, oh my God, you've been all over Slovakia. All right, you've only had one shot on target, but you've had 38 dangerous attacks to their seven. Looking at them on it. How many minutes gone in that England game? Uh, 26 minutes. Uh, Still still Basically down halfway. Down. Yeah. yeah. Still nothing each. Quite even actually. What a wonderful game to take the family at Wembley. It's nil nil between us and Slovakia. But Fantastic. we are needed to anyway to qualify. So. Oh, it's, it's meant to be casting aside countries like anyway. That. Back to the race. Yes, back so to the race. It spread out. That's why we're talking has... about football, right? Yeah, Grave Diggles dropped back from the back of HLG, so HLG's bridged the gap to over a second, I think, so Grave Digger doesn't have DRS. We need something like amazing to happen, we need a big pile up or something to blow up or something. No, we, we do not. We really do yeah, so not. So essentially, where Grave, Grave Digger is now, on the right where the white tyre wall is and the Fly Emirates tyre wall is, that's where I nearly died. Well, he lost it. You'll hear well. breathing and speaking. He lost it. Oh, Grey Digger also, also got thrown off on the bump there, so, yeah, catching a few people out. I'm still impressing Matty G. Oh, and Skyline's no. out. No, Ryan, what's he done? Where's Why? he lost it? Oh, I can't find him. That tunnel is damage, please tell me. He's got to be. I can't find him. Yeah, that's terminal damage. Dead, man. Hey. Uh. Survival well. of the fittest. Yeah, we're dropping with flies tonight. We're down to nine now, because Joran's not in the race, so we're down to nine. Shall we get Skyline in here, though? And if you want. By all means, if you want to. He is of the Hypersaur, so... <laughs> I could, I, actually, I could imagine it'd be Hyper, or just be, just be like swearing like five different words. The party. Well, I don't think he was having a brilliant race anyway, so. Indeed. Hello. What happened Let to you? To your name. I have done. What happened to you, Ryan? So, where did you lose it? It's like a pot lock around this track, isn't it? North um, North you know, well, you've got the long right hand and the hairpin right, and then the sharp left afterwards. Coming out the sharp yes. left, like the start of sector two, sharp left. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I came out of that corner, hit the grass, like my back right tire caught the grass, car pointed me into a wall. My car was fine, I only had front wing damage, and my car slipped Good backwards, backwards hit the other wall, the slightest little freaking tap, and my tire fell off. <laughs> <laughs> the Frantic oh. is the only one not to use the hard tyres in this race. He's gone back to another set of softs. He isn't too huh. far behind Matty GB. And I think he's done, has so he's done a medium soft stop soft. onto soft. Yes. Well, that's why I, I thought. I was hoping I was going to try to do it. You know, he started at the back of this race. You know, he's done well to come where he is. 
And he's had a stop go penalty as well. And he's been taken out. Uh huh. Anything else happened to him? Uh, his cat died, his car broke down. <laughs> his he cat died. Yeah. <laughs> he smashed a mirror, he walked under a ladder. Uh, so what's actually happened in this race? Has actually been entertaining because I've been sat in the back by myself the entire race. Has anything it, actually it's happened? It's pretty spread out, to be honest. Um, it's, it's been okay. It's been okay. It's not been the best one. I mean, we've had battles. It's because people keep it's crashing, terrible. which which doesn't really bode well for next week now, does it? No, Monaco next week, so... <laughs> oh, well, and it's yeah, gonna definitely be interesting. Monaco at Monaco. night as well, don't forget, guys. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. it's gonna look nice on the on the stream anyway, but uh, I am very Don't fearful we could have like two or three drivers left in that race. I'm very <laughs> fearful in both divisions. Will, I'm not even yeah, joking. Yeah, say we could have that like, in F1 as well. Yeah. I say, I'm going on a bit of a driver hunt during the weekend and next week, so I'm gonna see if I can try and. Oh, good luck the, with uh, that. Good luck with that. Oh, your first race, Monaco. Yeah. Well, we're going to have a battle in a minute anyway, because uh, Matty GB is catching up to Patel. Well, oh, hello, I think Linda. we're going to have a battle right at the end of the race as well with Frantique on those soft tyres. As you can see him I really think Patel is going to go all the way to the end or one stop. I don't know why, I don't think he's going to come in again. Yeah, but he's definitely going to lose this position to Matty. Matty, I have to say Matty is very, very much impressing me because he stayed out of trouble, his second race in the league, and he's... Oh, he's on, he's on course, the course for podium, as it sounds to be. Yeah, he's my driver Yeah, because the, the thing is, yeah, because the thing is with Flood, Balltail, Frantique, you know, they're at the front three. Pretty much all the races, <laughs> as Balltail's going to have serious pressure, but Manny had to back off a little bit to avoid hitting the back of Balltail's car. Balltail's going to have Can another It sounds like you're saying Manny. Matty, with Frantique, 20.6. He's lying up to the back of these two now. <laughs> HRG in 5th, Bossman 6th, Grey Digger 7th, Grey Digger 7th, Bombline, Custard, even though he's a lap down. Take oh. place. Nice overtake there. I completely Patel's missed it! No! Well, you missed. Oh, 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 wow. No. Oh, it's Matty G got damage. That is the question. I don't... Really, Drake, what? you record that. Right, okay. I would, but I can't, obviously. Oh, Manny, he's so much more faster, he's got to be careful, record though. Record it. Lord Hulse defending very heavily, where does he go? Run the inside. Got oh. right outside. Oh. It is Frantique as well. Frantique's right behind. Yeah, Frantique's oh, with oh, the oh, 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 What a what move. move! What a move. <laughs> Great move. I record that. Overtake That's of the day, guys. That was the overtake of the, of the day. That was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Sure and it now puts him under well. massive. Oh. Don't go on the inside there. Got it anyway. No contact. No, no matter you went wide. Didn't have the traction. Antique. That was very impressive. The, I think it's between him and Matty G for driving the day, though. Um, Matty G didn't back. go up to 8th gear in that. Just saying. He only stuck in 7th. Does he not realise there's uh -huh. eight gears in these cars? He probably <laughs> does, but you know. Bulltel set up soft tyres, maybe going fastest lap. My G Boss man. Of Frantique, Frantique holds it. Well, like I said, it's going to be definitely a great day for Williams at the moment, third and fourth. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, they, I, think, I think they'll close up to Ferrari in the championship as well. Well, I'm interested to see how quickly Frantique closes up on uh, floodlines, though. Ooh, but right there gets away with that. Still 14.9. I'll just to let you know, part time, I put a notification on a Scotland score, so I can keep you up to date with the Scotland score. Sorry, I'm keeping an eye on it myself. <laughs> I actually have the BBC, uh, the BBC Sport website in front of me. Oh. It's gone score up. Yeah, I've put the notification on the uh, Bet365 app, so whenever there's a goal, it just pops up. 
and he had DRS on the back of Franti, but no one close enough. I think Franti's got the second place now. Unless he makes a massive mistake. Yeah, he's just closed six tenths on Floodlines in that last sector. Yeah. Uh, Floodlines has got this. He's 15 seconds in five laps is already easy enough. Ooh, Matt is using the last back end huh? It's a shame though, if the prop crash it out and all that, because it would have been interesting to see what would have happened between those two. How many times have you mentioned that now? I know he's your driver. He's, he's my driver though, and he got pole, he was looking good. Why did I know see what happened to Master Krog? It, he um, went wide on the right, sweeping right-hander, quick one, and we saw a wheel rolled in and bouncing, so he must have lost it there. So. Yeah. He must have hit the gravel on the edge of the um, edge of that corner, and then it just spits you off wide. I'm just thinking, actually, I'm a bit worried because wheels should be bouncing and rolling with those tethers on. Well, the wheels fall off. You don't you have to real wheel life. tethers on um, full damage; just only on simulation. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, there's a simulation damage run as well. No, it's on full. Yeah, it's a full damage on simulation. Ah. Oh. What was the race like anyway when you were around? Was there many much lag or bugs or anything? No, it was quite fast. It was pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth, to be fair. It's been smooth. Yeah, it's starting to stay The only thing that's been wrong with the race is going to be a patch for next uh, week, apparently, as well. The only issue that's been wrong with the game, really, in my opinion, like, that Cody should fix, in my opinion, like, I don't really know if it's a problem that I'd say is important, but I'd say it needs sorting. But I only slightly clipped an apex and it catapulted me. That shouldn't happen. Hmm. I can understand yeah, if that back end stood out a little bit, yeah, but not completely catapulted me the way it did. Yeah, I've started to notice, it's started to, you know, stable out a bit. I'm hoping they're not going to break even more with this patch coming out next week. Well, that's the problem, isn't it? Is it, it feels like it feels like F1 2017. The game is like a body that's got multiple rooms that Code Masters are putting patches and plasters and stuff all over it. But as soon as they since they put one plas one plaster on, another one opens. One that they open, one that they uh, previously closed up before. It's almost seems that every single patch that they do, it brings up another problem. Or a different one. Well, I've never seen it's I wouldn't even say that. I'd say it's more like, um, like say if they, they stitch someone up, they stitch them up and then say, right, that's it, you're okay to go home now. They dress up someone in black and go stab them ten more times. You know, you, you <laughs> stitch them up once and stab them ten times. <laughs> you uh, know. Bit of a graphic They're causing way to more really, problems than they're fixing. To be honest, I think it's just like a plunk. Like a plunk? Sorry. A plunk, yes. Oh, uh, so you just pull out the screen and there's loads of things that fall down. Yeah. Mm. There's a good game. Hmm. Let's see with that, or that popping pirate game, where that pirate's in the barrel. And then you have to oh, pop, swords pop into pirate. It. Oh, yeah, yeah it's not bad. It's not bad. They're, they're trying to fix well. things, they're stabbing oh, small little patches into the game. For the whole game to explode and not work anymore. It does bother me. It does bother me as well that when they release a patch, it goes onto PC first. I'm not saying I've been any salty because when it's no, on PS4, Te technical but, test samples. That's what it is. Yeah. And then we have to. Then we have to wait for it while everyone else comments about how good or how bad it is. Well, the other problem is that we have on Xbox compared to PC. Is on PC as soon as Cody's released an update, they get it instantly. But with Xbox and occasionally PlayStation. It has to go through some sort of validation to make sure it's actually doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, it's but, not the the case, yeah but then I've been then I've been to the table a issue that was with FIFA 18, where where there was just there's a few things wrong with career mode. PC got it, and then two days later, or even a day and a half later, PS4 and Xbox get it. So yeah, well, maybe the whole validation process. I didn't Maybe really EA have cozied up to Microsoft and all that. I was surprised when I put FIFA in earlier. I had to like, have a, like, a gigabyte worth of data to 
update the game and then I just read there through it all and it sounds like it's done a good job. They did. And that's the thing. That always seems to be the thing, unless they're decent on it. But anyway, yeah, but do you know back why on they, this they're race. Repairing it all. They're repairing all the issues on that game. Because yeah, and they've definitely changed the goalkeepers as well. Goalkeepers are better as well, you know. Anyway, back onto the back onto the base. We're on the final lap. Go on, Michael. Oh yes, yeah, we indeed. are. <laughs> yes, indeed. And fl floodlines. Well, seemed to, seemed to be a battle between him and uh, Krog and Bultel. Bultel with a interesting strategy, putting on the hard tyres straight away. It's definitely. Can I, I don't say, think was the right lost the back end, and the car behind him is catching him rapidly. Just saying. It's a lap down, though. Oh, is it? Okay, my bad. Yeah, Maybe. it's just cut stuff. <laughs> but uh, ever since then, it seems as soon as he uh, got Frantique out of the way, who was started at the back, unfortunately, got still a little bit of debris actually from a uh, well looks of it on that uh, corner. He's just gone through, but he's into the final sector now, and this is firmly going to put him only a little bit ahead of Frantique because Frantique is <laughs> going to be. What the be hell? <laughs> what? I just saw uh, a, a, a kind of like a floating tire barrier. It looked like it was having a spaz attack for like a couple well, of seconds. It was back to normal. Coming out the final corner. <laughs> and crosses uh, went to the Spanish Grand Prix. It's Floodlines, not Frantique. Chop, I know what I meant. <laughs> Floodlines hey, wins there. the race. <laughs> Frantique, uh, excellent recovery drive to finish in second. But it's going to be Matty GB who comes home in his second race in third position. Brilliant stuff for Williams. It's even better for Williams because HLG gets a very solid fourth place across the line. He comes into that. Fifth place for Bultel. Again, one tyre strategy, but what could have been if he changed a different tyre compound? But he comes home in fifth with ten points. And I got a new message. Grey Digger comes home in sixth. Cannot repeat his last week race win, unfortunately. He got caught up in the start, but still comes home with eight points. Oh, Bossman, just Bossman got has lost the front wing. Oh dear. Ah. Okay. Just, can he just cruise it home, Bossman. Can't. Get the points. Just he home. can't be caught. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> but there, that's going to be the end of this race. So, it pretty much sums it up, actually. Few cars yeah, it's been the most exciting race of the of the season so far. Well, but you're gonna get you're gonna get races like that. It was intriguing. Anyway, it's intriguing. Nice the one positive that. is we've we've had to do no restarts, so there have been no problems. So that's the most yeah. positive thing we've had. Indeed. Fair, I thought we was gonna have to because um, Van Teek got kicked out of the session when we had quality, but. I said to everyone at the start, you know, I'm not restarting for one person, and it was just one person. Yeah, so we did speak about that, yeah. So. Unfortunately, I didn't restart, but to be fair, he's done fantastic to get, what, second place from 12th? Yeah, yeah he's team. done really well. There is oh, the I'll just send all of you the, um, the, the clip that will happen to me, by the way. Fair enough, we'll have a look at that later. as uh, Frantique. Is that not frantic? You even got me confused now. It's Floodline. Jeez. Floodlines. Oh, wait. Why enjoys... is the Williams on the podium? No, huh? they're not. They're not. On my screen, both the Williams were on the podium. No, no. McLaren for Cinder and Williams on my podium. Oh, wow. Look at all those penalties. Floodlines and <laughs> Joe and the only ones who didn't get one. Oh. Although, Joe had disconnected. Nice as well. Yeah. So Floodlines, as I said, takes the victory that I believe that his his second victory of the season after his opening round win in Australia. Franti takes second, Manny GB in his first podium in his second race. Ultra G fourth, Bultel, Gradiger, Bossman, Custard in eighth. And those will be the point scorers because Jordan disconnected even though it was three laps down. Brian crashed, part time crashed, Grog crashed. So, uh... I crashed once. Yay. Right, so let's get these guys <laughs> into the party so we can do the podium. Yay. You want to do Yay. it this time? You want, to do it? you want to do it this time, Craig? No, no, you do it. No, Craig, you do it. I'll do it for you, Mike. It's fine. Come on, Dom. Me and you can do it, mate. Let's do it. No. 
I'm not. I'm not many crazy people to tomorrow. Say, meant to be part of this. Don't do that tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I was looking forward to it. Oh, well. Michael, you do it. Greedy bastard. I'm not to it. I'm not do it. No, Greg does it. You got. You got. Greg's gonna do it. Ah, uh, Michael's got very experience asking questions. Mhm. Mm I make it interesting. I be controversial sometimes. Depends how I want to be. <sighs> I can't see it being controversial tonight because there wasn't really anything controversial in that race. So. No, I can be controversial. I can be. I can be controversial. You can. Good night now. <laughs> anyway, so here we are. Here, here are the drivers on the podium for today. Not an exciting Grand Prix, but it was an intriguing one, at least from my point of view. Anyway, the tyre strategy, and uh, we had a few drivers drop out, which is kind of surprising. Um. Yeah, so, um, but at the end of it all, it was uh, Floodlines who picked up his second victory this season, putting him into a little bit more of a little bit more of a comfortable uh, position at the top of the table. But uh, Floodlines, uh, great victory for yourself. I uh, must be uh, very happy about that. Indeed, indeed, as you said, consistency is the key, especially in potential 24 race season. Still got 19 more to go. Um, but yes, obviously, if you keep that up, that would be very good. I mean, obviously, um, uh, Camilla's narrations again go to Master Krog in the uh, in the Red Bull um, crashing out. Did you did you happen to see him um, uh, retire from the race? Indeed. Oh, indeed. Uh, you must. You must have been a bit. Must have been a bit surprised to see uh, Frantic in uh, in front of you after you uh, pitted, though. Considering he started from twelve. And that uh, indeed you did. So uh, well done. well done. As you said, fourth podium in a row. Can you keep it up? That'd be quite uh, interesting. Just, uh, ah, I like the confidence. I like the confidence. <laughs> uh, Manny, Manny GB. So, um, uh, could you put? Can you message me your thoughts, and I'll just uh, read them out. Uh, message, message me your thoughts. He doesn't have a mic. So, um, but anyway, we go to uh, Frantique second place in the race after starting 12th unfortunately you did um disconnect in qualifying but you put that to one side and despite also i think you got caught up in the first uh couple of corners incident with a ferrari and joran but despite this yeah. still uh kept calm um, again put it to one side which is what you need to do and came home with second place uh Good recovery, good uh, recovery drive, I guess. Uh, I think I think you are driver of the day with uh, me with Craig. Uh, but yes, eighteen points. Yeah, uh, started on the mediums. Um, I was hopefully going to try and get some clear rear where everyone's on the softs and pulling away from me. That might be able to get like some fast laps in with the fucking with the mediums, but um. Yeah, first corner, well, second corner, Ferrari came straight back onto the track, uh, clipping me, spun out, and um, I thought that was my race over, but stuck with it. Um, and then I tried I tried maintaining them medium so I could go on two stints of um, softs. So that's what I did, and managed to grab second somehow. Don't know how, but... <laughs> Yes, definitely good stuff. I always, I always say, if you uh, are going to do well in a championship season, especially a long one, it's not how many wins you get; it's what you get if nothing seems to go your way. You know, you're, those yeah. damage limitation races, and that is definitely a race as an example of that. So, uh, well done to yourselves. So obviously, we go into Monaco next next week, uh, which everybody seems to be dreading. I don't, I don't know. Are you looking, you looking forward to it? It's going to be at night, so it's going to look good. But uh, what do you what do you think? What are your thoughts going into next week? Um, my fault. Yeah, 
contact all over the track. That's what I think. They're just going to be, you know, cruise around at 50 miles an hour and just you, you, you'll probably be one of the three that remain. going to all come down to qualifying, in yes, my opinion. Definitely. But even, even if... It, yeah, even if you even if you qualify on pole though, it doesn't guarantee you the win. One little mistake it could be gone by that. Yeah. That will be next week. Um I got a message from Matty G B. Obviously, congrats on your second race in the league and a podium, a fantastic result. And he said, uh staying out of trouble and he's really happy with his first podium, yes. That's my force exactly. Um good points for Williams third and fourth, obviously, H or G. Hasn't made it onto the podium yet, but I think he will at some point. Maybe it will be next week. Who knows? Who completely knows? We could only have one finisher, finisher tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow I'll next week. Say that. Well, it, it could it could happen. It's happened before, especially with full damage and night racing to look forward to. It's going to be going to be interesting. Any uh, final words, Greg, before we finish this race off? Um. It was an interesting race. Like I said, it wasn't the most exciting race, but congratulations to Rob winning and great drive from Frantic coming back and Matty G as well. It was a very close drive getting driver of the day. And um, yeah, let's uh, bring on Monaco next week. Indeed, bring on Monaco. But before that, obviously we have the F1 division uh, tomorrow. You'll see, well, you see myself. Hopefully Mark and Brutal will uh, be turning up but you have chaos you have bst digital obviously last season champion eyes the best as well as, well as a few others you may see a few uh faces me. from gp me. yes and you and you sorry sorry can't yeah. forget you <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs> obviously, obviously us two will be battling out with many others you might even see a few gp2 race uh faces potentially wink wink anybody that's in here um but yes uh, make sure you join us tomorrow, 7 p.m. Well, where we will see fast, fast part time and HLD commentate and take you through the action for the Spanish Grand Prix. But um, obviously, from now until then, uh, good night, everyone.